So many of these Russian owned businesses are still recovering from the pandemic and they want to say that they too are hurt by seeing what is happening thousands of miles away and they should not be penalized for what's going on. The cozy atmosphere inside West Village restaurant Sveta feels like you're in someone's home. Owner Svetlana Sveta Satchit's motto is family first and it's her family that is ever present on her mind. A couple of weeks is very hard. Yes, very hard. It's my family over there, my two sisters. There is Kharkiv in northeast Ukraine, right on the Russia border. Much of the city is destroyed after coming under heavy fire by Russian troops. Sachs is half Russian, half Ukrainian, with relatives in both countries. I'm from Soviet Union. I came 32 years ago. And if somebody asks you, where are you from? You say America. Which makes some of the backlash she has received all the more painful. The restaurant's social media account clearly shows support for Ukraine, but that hasn't stopped the hate filled emails and phone calls. Some people called and uh, say negative things, and we uh, were scared about if we'll destroy our business. Sergey has worked at Svetas for years. He left Donetsk, Ukraine in 2014 when Vladimir Putin first invaded and seized Crimea. He also has relatives near Moscow who believes the Russian government's false narrative about the war. And nothing about what they destroyed, nothing about what have suffering people, nothing about this. While loyal patrons have returned to dine, they tell me they have had instances of people coming in, seeing the menu and leaving. The message those running the business want to send is simple. They may sell Russian food, they may speak Russian, but they do not condone this war. It's not politics, it's just, it's just restaurant, it's just food. So it's not about the, the, like we support Putin, we definitely not support Putin.